Fox 24's Andrew Epperson was right in the thick of it this afternoon. Andrew, why is Thursday's airstrike that killed a top Iranian general getting such a strong response from Arkansans? Signs, honking, cheers, anti-war sentiments. Saturday's peaceful protest in Fayetteville had just about everything you'd expect. And it's just another side to what some are calling a complicated situation. Hey, hey, oh, oh, the war machine has got to go. Chance. One, two, three, four. We don't want this oil war. Ringing down College Avenue as organized protesters demonstrate against escalating conflicts with Iran. It threatens to be very catastrophic, and so we're, we're out here calling for a stop to this war. This week's U.S. airstrike that killed Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani, drawing strong responses from Arkansans, including U.S. Senators like Steve Womack. We are going to protect our people and our interests, American interests. The U.S. Defense Department blames Soleimani for hundreds of American deaths, including a contractor in late December. He was plotting attacks against Americans, but now we've ensured that his atrocities have been stopped for good. Womack agrees with President Trump's administration. He's looking them straight down the barrel, and he's calling it for what it is, terror, and that it's not going to be tolerated, and America's going to stand up and lead. Abel Tomlinson organized Saturday's protest. He says American aggression needs to be taken into account. So Iran is surrounded by our wars and our military bases, so we are the aggressor. A lot of what Iran is doing is defensive, and uh, we need to ultimately get out of the Middle East and stop threatening everyone and killing everyone over there. And Tomlinson says the threat of heightened tensions is enough to spur protests. There's no real understanding of what could ultimately happen. It could blow up into a world war, and this is very, very, very dangerous. Homeland Security updated its terror advisory today. It says there's not a credible threat from Iran at this point, but to watch out for cyber attacks. You can find the full post on our website. That's fox24news.tv. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News.